never would have thought that a knitting pack would want me to buy it. So the next one we've got is Bowling Night Stuff. This came out in 2017. It includes bowling lanes, allowing players the ability to build their own bowling hangouts, uh, a new five level bowling skill, and new themed clothing items, furniture, wallpapers, and floorings. So for me, personally, I feel like there's a bit more to this than the last one, because there's now extra gameplay like bowling and a skill to it as well. Mm. This is what now starts justifying its money to me. Yeah, see, for me, I'm not bothered by anything that's been this one. <laughs> <laughs> funky light. But it is... Oh yeah, because... When I was making, making my kitchen the other day, it was trying to get me stations, the uh, shoe shelf. I was like, yeah, just, you know, yep. shoe shelf in your kitchen. Standard. A little bowl and shoe shelf. See, for me, it's good from a gameplay point of view, but it's still not my thing either. It's very niche. It's not like mm. it's also a shopping mall and it's also an arcade or something else. It's literally just a bowling alley. There could have been so much more put in there yeah. that fits the theme of, I don't know, 80s. It would have been cool if it a shopping mall experience one, wouldn't mm. it? All the short shorts are in there. The ones with the pockets hanging out of the bottom. Nothing really screams out John. I'm happy to put some D to be fair. Let's do it. Let's put it in D. I'm happy with the D. C and D are just like rummed at the moment. <laughs> we've not done laundry. So next up we've got fitness stuff, which is the shoe running. Uh, so this included items like the rock climbing treadmill. D. <laughs> Workout videos and earbuds, <laughs> and included more fitness apparel. When you start a game now in Sims, you automatically get a pair of earbuds, and you can literally play music like it's a sound system wherever you want, even in the toilet, if you're eating. So you're just constantly being entertained and getting fun for not doing anything. So I like it for that. And the rock climbing wall as well, because it's quite tall, it sets fire at the bottom. So they're constantly climbing away from the fire, otherwise they get themselves burnt, which is quite cool. Then you get people coming along, like cheering them along, trying to keep climbing, keep climbing. Oh, oh no, though, I I've think. I've got those leggings as well. Oh, see what I mean? It's not a waste of money now, is it? I think this should be up there with a the Halloween one. Really? Yeah. But I'd be willing wow. to be knocked down a few pegs, depending on where you want to put it. A couple of bits I'd like. Mm. Like, I like the, hair, the hairstyles, but a jumper could suit a couple of different people, like characters. Um, and it's nice. I think for this as well, it disappointed me the fact that they brought, apart from the climbing wall, well, they didn't bring anything new into it exercise-wise. I agree with you that there's not much value for gameplay side of things in these. It's pretty much create a sim or build what you want house-wise. This is good for a mm. community lot if you're bothered about making community lots. I would put, I guess, if you really just push me, I'll put it in B. If you're happy, I'd like to put it probably in C. Let's pop it in C. Because I think you're right in what you're saying. You've swayed, like, you definitely swayed me. Because I think the green shoe legs, I take it. Yeah, there's not much in the way of gameplay, and there's definitely not a justifiable amount of clothing options for everyday use. It's purely fitness clothing. It's very niche still. Like if you look at all the stuff we put on the board now, mm. combine them all together, it makes a great game because you've got all sorts. You can have a romantic dinner one day, go back to your posh hours, go to the fancy gym the next day. It creates a story, but on its own, I don't think it's worth it as a pack. Happy with that? Happy with where we are and see for that one? It, I mean, this is probably going to be quite obvious because, like, these are all the cheaper games. Mm. These are the stuff the stuff packs, so you don't get much in them. There's still a stuff pack and a shit stuff pack, though. <laughs> we are figuring out which yeah. ones are shit. <laughs> so the next one we've got is toddler stuff. Do we even need to discuss this one, mm. or should we just stick it in D? Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's skip that one. Yeah, it's not going to be that one then. Uh, so yeah, the biggie if, now. If anyone wants to comment on this and, and try and sway our minds, that's fine. We'll listen. We are neither of us family orientated. Um, so they, they don't really uh, handle to our needs, I guess. On its own, the toddler one's crap. But then when you combine the toddler one with the parenthood, with then, I don't know, seasons mixed with a bit of university. Before you know it, you've actually made aging up from a toddler to an adult, young adult, enjoyable. But yeah, I still, it's not my kind of thing up to the point of being a young adult. I'm just not interested in that side of the game. So here's a big one for you. Laundry yeah. day stuff. Yeah. 
it's not our demographic. So this included new home technologies. Yeah, I think this help, one we're going to argue on a bit. To help with your sim with domestic responsibilities and live an eco-friendly life. Marks the return of laundry, washing machines and other laundry related items. For me, I think it's D. Waste of money. You think it's a waste of money. I say dreadlock. What was that in this get this? Huh. Sure it was. Oh, knee over the knee starts old. Uh no, it doesn't look like the dreadlocks are in this one. See, again, I just feel like this is a sort of pack where yeah, it's good to have in your home, it adds variety to your house, but are you really gonna be faffing around washing clothes? Faffing around putting up clothes. Yeah, I'd uh, I'd... I'm not gonna bother doing any of that. I like the style a little bit on some of it. Uh I like the window that comes with it, but I'm not that bothered by the extra gameplay. I wouldn't mind it as much if the gameplay added meant that your sims clothes after say a week get dirty and you have like a grungy feeling or you look a bit dishevelled and you have to wash your clothes. It makes it worth it then, but for just doing it for the sake of doing it. Oh, does it, does it not have anything like that in the game? There's no... That wouldn't even be that hard to do, because if you just stay in the same clothes and don't wash them, it could just make your hygiene go down quicker or something. It does give you a pristine look, it's saying. So it does, because I've not bought this pack, I don't think it's worth it, but... Oh, so it gives you a buff if you do it? Yeah. It would have thought if Laundry Day encouraged your sims to have a bigger wardrobe as well, but for people like me, that this is part of the fun of the game, is the designing side. Mm. Pull this... I know you've got, you're getting, they're getting there with the different outfits for different days, but it'd be cool to design an, uh, almost an entire wardrobe. I would be, or C. C? Yeah, C. Just a C. Okay, so the next one is my first pet. Not to be mixed up with cats and dogs. Eh. <laughs> um, so this one included a hamster, a rat, a pygmy hedgehog, or miniature bubbleus as new pets. Um, you do need the Cats and Dogs expansion pack for this to actually work and it's the first stuff pack that you needed to buy all the DLC for it to be able to work with. So there's a bit more of a money investment to get most out of it. Now, I like the idea yeah. of it that you got gerbils and stuff. Oh, I never noticed that sofa has the, uh, a dog on it. Oh, cool. oh is that the fish tank coffee table. Yes. is in that pack and I've used that in pretty much every house I've built at some point. I don't like dressing up animals, I think it's unfair on them. I mean if they're fine with it I guess, who cares, but for a lot of animals it stresses them out. And I know that this doesn't, but I fear that it's encouraging people to dress up their animals. I'll let you decide this one because I'm not sure. I like having hamsters and gerbils and pygmy things as well. I'd go for B personally. Let's do it. Are you, are you just agreeing to everything I say, or are you, are you, am I actually persuading you? I, I don't have any opinion on this because I just don't play it enough to say the value in it. So I can't say it's a waste of money because I've not really played it myself. Now this next one, I don't even feel like we need to talk about, but you'll love this next one. So this one is the Moschino stuff. New clothing and decor from Moschino, a freelance fashion photographer career as well. This one gives you an extra career that you can That's do. That's pretty cool. And you get like fashion clothing. So it's got the, a dope fade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like the windows on this one. Really like the windows. Um, there's quite a few items I like in this. Like this is a gnarly uh, bookend for the polar bear. That's quite cool. Wardrobe, which I like. The clothes I'm not a big fan of. Oh, there's some new boots that look a bit like Doc Martens, they're cool. And some gold hot pants. Yeah, like you said, it, it it does introduce a new profession, which is quite cool. I see this pack working quite well with the city living pack. If you're living in an apartment and you want a really flashy looking mm. studio, it works quite well. I just think for everyday simming, it's a bit boring. I really like the house fi fixtures, the, the windows and the doors and stuff that come with it. Um, I think there's nothing like the windows, especially in there uh, already, which is nice. I don't know. I'd probably put it around B because it's one that I didn't expect I'd like, but I do like quite a few bits on it. What about you? Now oh, we're gonna go more C. You're not, it's got you can do if you want. It's got gameplay additions to it, which makes it not a waste of money, but it's not great. Um, so the next one is tiny living stuff. The idea is there's a bit of gameplay in this one that isn't in normal packs where you can create a house 
and the settings in the game tell you if you make can you make your house this small or can you make your house even smaller so it included quite a few additional items um, so like a Murphy bed so the bed folds up when you're not in bed so it's a very like what like a six by eight space love living for toilet kitchen bedroom everything so I quite wow. I quite enjoyed this one and the bed also if you every Every time you use the bed, I think there's a 10% chance that the bed will kill you. What? Yeah. It'll, it'll I've got crush two you. of them in my new house. <laughs> they, it can kill you by crushing you. I might have to get rid of them beds. <laughs> Put some, some standard singles in. It's like the IKEA Bestus collection, like the kids swinging off them and falling over. <laughs> the beds will kill. I do like the furniture that comes with this. This was quite a good prelude to the eco lifestyle expansion as well because you've then got all your very mm. quirky house house fixtures and then you've also got the energy building and stuff with the other pack it just fits quite well together that they're going a bit more environmental you know i approve of that one challenge i did find though with this particular pack is if you were to make a really tiny house it's all good and said this house is minuscule but then you've got such a massive garden what do you do with the space if you're into landscape gardening, it's really Wild good. Wildflowers. Wildflowers come back in now. <laughs> I can spend ages designing a garden in Sims. Like, I'll spend hours just doing one section, just making sure all the plants and the edging and paths and everything look natural and, and lovely. And, yeah. I do like the landscaping part. I just find it very challenging to do a 50 by 50 plot, sticking this tiny little house in the middle somewhere and then having to build out and not make it look plain. But for me, this pack is, I'm going to say it, it's the first one, best of the best. I really enjoy this pack. Do you think this is an F? I think it is. I think it's one of the best. F category? From yeah, a stuff, I'd be happy From a that. stuff pack point of view, definitely. Yeah? Okay. I'm happy to put this one in there. As I say, I'm about gameplay and this adds gameplay. You now have to think about how you make your, your tiny house and fit everything in, fit your living room into your kitchen. I just think it adds a nice bit of variety to you. Let me bring up the tier list, let's see how we look. Uh, so at the minute you probably notice that a lot, of the, one more left. a lot of the packs at the minute are very low down. <laughs> they're not worth the money much of them. But they're, they're nice to have when you have all of them, like Sponge has. But on their own they're not worth it. Um, so the last one we've got then is the Nifty Knitting Pack. Now I don't have this. You do, don't you? So it might be worthwhile you upselling me. Now I've read about it, I know that they've now got Plopsy, which is like an eBay. So you can knit items, you can make woodworks, you can make paintings and you can sell them on Plopsy for money. Which is quite cool. Mm. I do like it for that reason. I know in the house I built the other day I put a little... You can get the uh, wicker basket full of knitting stuff. And I actually have one in my living room, so I did the exact same thing as what is actually in my living room. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing about this pack, though, is we talked a lot about how it's benefited babies, well, toddlers, children. This one benefits elders because it's now got gameplay for them to do as well. You can do it at any age, don't get me wrong, but there's stuff in there like a rocking chair where if an elderly person sits in it and reminisces, they'll, it'll show you what memories from their lifetime they've had, good or bad. So. Uh... Oh yeah. So it is cool from that, that perspective. That's so cute. Mm. Oh, I can't wait to do that. <laughs> I'm just looking for the item list. If you look at the, the video, mm. you can see that the dreads are in this one and they're the dreads that I love. <laughs> I never would have thought that a knitting pack would want me to buy it. Like when I first heard of it, I'm like, why would the community of all people think up a knitting pack is the best thing to have? But now that we're reading about it and seeing it, it actually sounds quite cool. And it's got a knitting, it, actually. It's, it's quite a good looking pack. It's got a knitting skill as well. You can level up your knitting skill and then the items that you knit, you can wear or sell them. And you unlock items and create a sim by knitting. Imagine that mixed with the eco lifestyle pack. You're literally self-sustaining, aren't you? You've got your woodwork station to make your furniture with. You've got your knitting for your clothing. You can sell your items so you're self sustaining. Great, you're in food. Yep. You could literally live an off the grid life and never have to pay a penny. Do you know what? I'd be tempted now that I've actually. I've not played this, but I like quite a few of the items I've seen and mm. I've put them in my new home. 
um, they're very up my street. And also the, the new things that we're reading about that it's brought up, the, you know, eBay thing, the Etsy thing. The rocking thing is adorable. It's such a <laughs> thing to put in there. Especially for, if you're playing it like you, where you play the whole life. Mm -hmm. So you can play a game over a couple of weeks and then your little old sim will be sat there couple of weeks later reminiscing about the things you were doing three weeks ago. It is cool that. And you'll be like, oh I remember when you did that. Oh, cute. <laughs> um and the get I, I love I love to knit. I knit myself and if my sim can do it then that's more realistic. <laughs> I'm willing so I, I'd be tempted to put this in S. I'm willing to put it in A. I don't think it's quite pinnacle best of the best but I do think it's very high up even though I've not played it from what I've seen and what I'm hearing it's, it does sound very good okay so we've done the stuff packs when you look at the stuff packs let me just bring it up on my screen again so when you look at the stuff packs do you agree where everything is at the moment then or do you think something should move now now on second thought no I think it's all pretty much in the right place I think it just speaks volumes about our personalities doesn't it the fact that we're just not into kids <laughs> We're not really into partying <laughs> or bowling. <laughs> but if you get a good pumpkin and a good bit of a rocking chair, we're there. 